Yo, what's up fam? Another productivity video related. I will basically teach you or like show you uh, the ways in which I use ChatGPT to study as a student, okay? University student, computer science student. Of course, you can use any of these tricks for anything that you're studying. Yeah, even though these tricks are mainly for computer science students, you can probably use it for whatever you're currently studying. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, the first trick or way in which I use ChatGPT is to divide my lectures. So what I do is basically to create one chat for every single subject that I have. So for example, as a first year computer science student, I have digital systems, uh, C programming or software development, uh, fundamentals of computer science and professionalism in practice shitty subject by the way uh useless completely useless yeah to create a chat for every single subject that you have is really useful because every single time that you're gonna study you can just like go to the specific chat and ask um about the specific lecture the good thing about chat gpd is that it saves uh, your past questions and answers so everything that you ask about that topic is gonna be related to that information all right this one is pretty straightforward but you just need to pass your lecture slides uh, through ChatGPT and ask for a summary for you to study or um, to make some notes for you. Right, for this point, a recommendation that I can give you is to be like specific. Focus on ask for a detailed summary because sometimes like the summary is like not that deep into the topic. So yeah, that's the only problem, but it makes the whole like study process way faster. So and if you miss something, you can always go back to the slides and like uh, restudy something from there. So good overview, like general overview of the whole topic, but not that in depth, you know. The next trick that I wanted to show you is a bit more related to coding stuff, but still. So let's say you're really like starting with some C programming or Python programming, like really basic stuff. You can always ask for a hey, yo chat GPT, my guy, um, based on my lectures, please assign me some newbie type exercises for me to study. And this guy is a cool guy, so he will uh, give it to you. Uh, you can study the, the basics, at least for the basics, I think it's really okay for like more like complex things, I'm not sure. So yeah, I think it's really okay to like study the basics or like to practice the basics. Yeah, I'm not a professional coder, okay? I'm, I'm just like a normal CS student, I like coffee. All right, the next trick that I wanted to show you is a really interesting one, actually. It's about audiobooks or like podcast related stuff. You probably know this um, Audible app. But yeah, I have no money to, to pay the subscription right now. You need to be smart, okay? You have ChatGPT here. And you know, one day I was just like really bored and I was trying to figure it out new ways in how I can use ChatGPT, okay? The interesting thing is that if you use the mobile app, you can ask for audible stuff. So let's say you have a book in mind that you want to read. You can ask ChatGPT, hey man, please make a five minutes audiobook type summary related to this book. And then you just like put your headphones. And then you just like can listen to it. This is pretty like broken, like a productivity glitch so yeah for example here uh i prompted yo man make an audiobook of mastery by robert greeny of five minutes long mastery by robert green is a powerful guide to unlocking your full potential and achieving mastery in any field all right i'm gonna save this for the tram right now let's continue with the next productivity trick ai related right now this one is more related to software i think there is one ai chatbot that is better than ChatGPT. at least i have been trying this model for a couple of days now and this is called cloudy or Claudia or claudia yeah, the good thing about this one is that the information like the explanation part and the code is split into like two windows so at one side you will have the whole information and the explanation about your code and in the other side of course you will have the actual code with the respective comments and yeah something really interesting here is that you can actually uh download the file of the code for whatever the hell you want to do so yeah this trick is more for coders but still um i think it's a uh, really solid model so ChatGPT and cloudy so yeah um, a simple video i just wanted to show you the ways in which i use ChatGPT or ai as a student as a computer science student i hope you learned something or have fun with the video or whatever also merry christmas for you all thanks for all the support that the channel is receiving recently huge respect and yeah uh, if you're new to your channel uh, make sure you subscribe if you want comment something down below See you in the next one. Take care, fam.